thank you for joining us today. Today we'll be trying out an assortment of candies and gums that were provided to us from our local candy depot. Check them out! Here we have a childhood novelty that you may remember, the gum that tastes like soap. Usually this was the last candy that was available in the 25 cent gum machines. Go figure. Here we have something that you definitely have seen, available at basically every candy store. The tried and true, it still tastes the same as it did when I was a kid. Now we have the chocolate sticks, it's been rebranded since I was a kid. I was a little shocked to see how much the taste of these changed. It actually had kind of a vomit aftertaste, I hate to say. This was a real shame. I was excited to try these again. Here we have Push Pop. This is definitely one of the flavors that stand at the test of time. Still fun to put together, still fun to eat. Here we have Power Poppers. This is a fun treat, it explodes and pops in your mouth. It's fun to watch people try these for the first time. Now we have Big League Chew, the official gum of baseball, included in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Some interesting facts on the back to read. Here we have Popeye Sticks, also another candy rebranded since I was a child. So many ways to eat these. Still tastes the same. Here's a treat I imagine most countries would have. This is the Canadian version. Chocolate coins. Here's a fun one, candy and gum combined. It's actually quite hard to eat this, uh, but it's quite enjoyable at the same time. Something everyone should try once in life, I guess. Here we have cowtails, a stretchy treat that's a fan favorite for most. So many different flavors from when I was a kid. Here's another treat that's mostly eaten as a novelty. It has a wax outside and uh, different flavors inside. It's kind of like a drink, I guess. I'm not actually sure if the wax is edible on this, but I'm sure people have tried. Here we have the hamburger. This is a sour version. It's similar to the hot dog. Not much to say here. This one really hasn't changed either. The 
Sod's Cherry. These are actually quite sour once you crack into them. There's like a fizzy powder inside. Super Double Lollipop. Still great as a go-to for a treat. Here we have the Mini Mini. Chickles. I was quite excited when I saw these. It brought me right back to my childhood. It even had Blast from the Past written on the back. Laffy Taffy. This is a mystery swirl. Uh, I don't believe we had this around when I was a kid, but it's still pretty good. And definitely keeping along with the Laffy Taffy fashion. Hot Zots. Pretty similar to the cherry one. This one tasted like uh, cinnamon hearts, but the inside was a fizzy powder and it was sour. Interesting. Rainblow gum. Surprisingly fruity flavors. Very tasty. Here's another gum that was always available on the 25 cent candy machines. Hard candy gum mixture. Chews. Tastes great. Garbage candy. Kind of like you get a toy with the candy. The garbage pails were always pretty cool when I was a kid. Looks essentially the same on first examination, but when you get into it, you can see that the detail is a little bit off on the candies. It was a lot more detail when I was a child. Certainly doesn't taste like garbage. Last but not least, we have Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. It still feels to me like this came out yesterday. I was so excited when it actually dropped. It's still just as much fun to eat today as it was then. Great flavor. Blows great bubbles as well. Check this one out if you haven't. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for joining us. We hope to try many other candy varieties in the future.